Hello everybody and welcome to a bonus episode of Vintage Survival. So the reason for this is because we finished the main series on Obelu and of course we're sort of in this transition phase between that and Platinum Edition which is going to be coming out very soon. This is released on the 15th so it'll probably only be this week when I do a bonus episode but we'll see. Um, so we currently have the Combine Harvester rented and we were in the middle of doing some contracts. I did finish one of them uh, in field number 36 but I think as we still have it, it would be nice to do another contract with it. Nothing too big. We don't want it to take forever. So let's just see what we have. Field 21. Okay, so yeah, that is one to consider. But I think if we can maybe just stay local to here. Uh, that's a potato field. It'd be so nice to do one, two, or three. Or one or two, actually. Let's just have a quick look. Ah, perfect. 14. It's a small field, very well suited to the machinery that we have, and it's not too far away either, it's just over there. So we'll do a quick spin around, I want to get this harvested and completed before it goes dark. That would be very nice. And yeah, I don't want to spend the entire episode combining, because we're going to have to combine our own field as well. We can then hopefully use the money to improve our own yard. That would be very nice. I think it's one of these fields here. It is. It is that little sliver, which is fairly weed infested as well. So I think what we'll do is... Oh, it's a car behind me now. I'll just pull in here. It would be a post, wouldn't it? I'll just go in this little gap. The beauty of having a small tractor. Good. And here we are, on the rented combine. So it looks like we just go down the track and then pretty much just cut across and we'll be in field number 14. As I said in the previous episode, we are allowed to use workers. It might seem a bit weird, but we can do. Because the only difference between this series and a standard series is that one big rule where we have to use vintage machinery very strictly. Also, because this is canola, it's probably going to fill the combine really slowly. So I don't think there's going to be much emptying going on. Just lift the reel a bit. Just a shame about the dust. <laughs> we've got to breathe it in. Well, we can see we've got a dust mask on. But it's a good combine. We are going to buy it. I've actually had also a good suggestion and that is to get the mod which allows you to lease a machine and then you can buy it after leasing which is a great idea oh, tree so the way I've always looked at vintage survival the same with my FS19 series is it's supposed to be really slow paced, just relaxing uh, nothing too hectic just doing a nice bit of farming with some old machinery I just think there's something quite fun and I don't know if it's the right word for it but sort of cosy, it's like a cosy feeling. Good fun to recall these videos. Okay now I mustn't run over my own tractor here. Just take that corner off and I think as we are passing I will just unload just to make sure we can do another full lap. too close, we'll see. Oh no. It fits fine. Okay, so uh, let's go for it. Let's get this harvested.
last little bit. So that has been a really nice fast job. Uh, we should be able to fit it all into the combine. But the trailer is full. And I think we're going to the same place as before. Yes, we are. So I know exactly where to go to. Which makes a change. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully whatever's left in the combine is going to be ours. But I doubt it. I wouldn't have thought we'd be able to keep over a thousand litres for ourselves. Uh, right, so we have 1,900 litres here. Let's go and sell it. I think it's going to be good to put the money into either chickens or bees, uh, because both of those are going to be relatively cheap to set up, and obviously both of them we can make money from. The bees in two ways, because we get the honey, and if we plant a crop like canola near to the bees, they will help to pollinate the crop and improve the yield. It looks like we have the same cell point as well within the complex. There goes their canola. Don't think any of this will be for us. Really, none of it should be for us. It's really nice that we do get to keep some of it. And now we'll go to the combine and get the rest. 75%. Getting the bees or the uh, chickens set up before we go to bed is even better because then by the morning we should have some sort of products. Wow, that almost took my head off. But I must go and return this, although it's only on 0.4 hours. So we could keep going with the contracts, but I don't want to bore everybody with back to back harvesting. Well, just episode after episode of harvesting. Uh, yeah, we could do another one. But there we go. So maybe about 800 litres we'll be able to sell for us. Yeah, did, I saw a comment uh, last week saying that somebody had spotted a red tractor in a hedge. I didn't see that. If there is one, then we'll have to look for it another time. Right, okay, so that is the contract done. Our money is now going up. This is all ours. Very nice. Brilliant, so we've got £706 from what was left. And now we can complete the contract as well and collect 578 So, yeah, that's not bad at all. So we have a grand total in the bank from everything. £4,731. Doesn't sound like much, but these are obviously slow beginnings, and money was worth more back then. What I mean to say is, like for four thousand pounds these days, you get much less than what you get for four thousand pounds back then. Okay, so that needs to be returned. We'll get this taken down to the yard. I definitely want to uh, have a reforestation program in this little area. Get some trees put in. This is clearly the area for livestock and productions, and this area is a tip. This needs to be tidied up. It looks really bad. Well, actually, it doesn't look too bad, but it just looks a bit messy. Okay, better get it returned. I reckon one day it'd be nice to buy both of the neighbours' properties. That is the way it is on this series, I can buy anything I want when we have the money. Here's our property. And this neighbour on this side has got a really big shed. That's actually a really good yard. So these are all things to aim for in the future. They don't mind or anything, they're just like, oh you want to buy my property? That's fine with me. I'll move somewhere else. I've got my single light on, but it is surprisingly effective. But just imagine out in the middle of an open field, in the dark, with just one light directly in front of us, probably attracting a load of flies and mosquitoes. It must have been hard work, very hard work. Okay, this is our turn. Yeah, I'm getting covered in dust as well. No air conditioning. I think I just spotted the place where we can sell 
honey. Right, so we've still got this trailer. That is going to have to be returned. We didn't need it in the end. So, yep, return that. I just left it there because we didn't have to return it until the end of today. But if we leave it there, after we've rested, then, yeah, we're going to get charged that daily fee. I want to buy it, really. Good. Well, it's not that good, actually. I want to have that combine desperately. So, I need to be quite cunning with where we actually put these buildings. We don't want to be wasting space. Let us go into construction. And, well, first of all, we'll look at the chickens, I think. See, it's only £1,500 to buy the chickens. That is not bad. We could go with this one. Same capacity, different material. It is brick. But to be honest, I'm happy with the wood. And this can stay really close to the house. Um, and we can start earning money almost immediately. It should start laying eggs, well, daily. I don't want to put it on the neighbours. So maybe just there, actually. Let's just make sure I haven't put that over the line. Nope, I don't think I've crossed the line there. That should be fine. Uh, and now, for the chickens. So these ones are... Well, the first ones, the five-pound ones, are chicks. Uh, so they're not producing any eggs at the moment. But the 50-pound ones are six months old. And they are reproducing. And uh, I'm, well, I'm guessing it must be the same time for eggs. For laying the eggs in the first place. So obviously if we buy some, they're going to reproduce anyway. So we don't need to fill this area. We don't have to fill the coop. Uh, I think probably go for... 10 of these, that's only 60 pounds, so 10 chicks, and probably 15 chickens, and then, yeah, that leaves 15 to be bred, which I think will be fine. Of course, we can always expand, it's just nice to have some chickens here anyway. And I still don't quite... No, if we need a rooster, I know if we do need a rooster uh, to reproduce in real life, but I'm pretty sure I've had it before where I haven't had a rooster and they still reproduce. So, yeah, it's probably just taking up a slot. We'll go without for the time being. So, yeah, you need food. I really don't think they're going to take much. I hope they're not going to take much. Uh, so, if we just get one bag actually can you get I've never wanted to buy such small quantities before but yeah does it well I suppose you could get this bag here that's 1500 for a thousand liters and this one here is 1400 for a thousand liters okay so we are gonna have to spend 1400 pounds which I know is eye watering oh, I, I've just realized what I should have done I should have done a contract for wheat and then kept the wheat that we are allowed to keep. Oh no. Oh, why do I always realise things afterwards? Okay. Well, you live and learn. Well, actually, I could have rented the combine again, but. Yeah. Okay, let's go and pick that up. About the forklift, most people that I saw responding to my question of whether or not the store should have a forklift said yeah, it should definitely have a forklift but make sure it's in keeping with the time period, I agree yeah, we're not going to have a brand new forklift there maybe brand new for the time but not like a 2022 <laughs> forklift it has to be older yeah, so that's the place I spotted which looks to be the honey cell point I like the lantern. Yeah, actually, it looks like the actual cell point is back here. Here they all are. This is where the pallets go to. And then they must just sell things, sell pots on the uh, side of the road. I like it. In fact, I love that. It's really nice. Uh, we're really losing the light. 
So we might not even need to have the forklift today because it might allow me to just put it straight into the trailer. Yep. Of course, it doesn't have to be a forklift necessarily. It could be a tractor with a front loader. So there we go. Our very expensive chicken feed. And now I just need to find my house. It's the one which looks derelict. Yes, this is the one. Okay, so we're in for the night. Let's close this gate. And we're going to tip this. Yeah, if they don't take too much, then it's going to be really good. Obviously, if they take all of it, because I know they consume it pretty quickly, then that's going to be quite expensive. So we need to get some good eggs. That is the spawn point. This is where we need to be. Mm-hmm. Taking quite a lot. Okay, so they have left it with 250 litres, so they must take 750 litres at a time. Uh, we must keep this dry. I can't really see anything. This is bad. We need to go to bed. Uh, but in the morning, hopefully, we will have some lovely eggs. Possibly. Not sure if it'll be quite that fast. Uh, I suppose I should also just check and see if we can afford to get some bees. No, we can't. Okay, so we'll forget the bees for the time being, but we will get some. We'll get some eventually. This tractor doesn't have any kind of rear work light. So, well, actually, we should get some yard lighting at some point, because it is so dark. I think we're going to be finishing in the dark on a regular basis. Just going to have to rely on our tail lights to see <laughs> where we're going. That will do. Right then. It's a big moon tonight. I will see you at 8am. Ah, what a beautiful day. So, chickens, you have been busy. You have laid... Actually, that's a lot of eggs. If you look at how many we actually have here... That's many eggs. Well done. They must have all been laying several each. What's wrong with you? I love autumn. At the same time, it's kind of sad because we are moving into winter, but it's such a beautiful season. And this game really does make autumn look good. Right, so obviously we don't have enough there to uh, retire on, but that's fine. Uh, we can, uh, well, I guess focus on getting this yard looking a bit better. This is coming along nicely. The oats are doing well. Very well. So, I think, best way of going about things here, I'm not sure the cultivator's going to do much, um, yes. Really we need like a topper or a flail. Yeah, it's not going to do a great deal, is it? Mustn't forget my seed drill, which is lurking in there. Right, okay, I'm just going to have to uh, look into sides or some kind of topper. Not that we can afford it, but we can rent it. Right, I've just spoken to the uh, dealership and they say they do have a rear tractor mounted scythe or finger bar mower and yeah, they didn't know for sure if it was going to be strong enough to get through some of these really thick branches and, well, the brush, these bushes, but we'll give it a go. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, we'll just have to drive over it all and <laughs> just crush them. We need to get our original yard ground back. It doesn't want to look like a forest. Although that would be nice. I do like forests. I'm not waiting for you cars. Can't you see? We have priority. We've, we've come from another time. Or maybe you have. 
Was there anything from a different period to those? Like aliens with that weird modern car. To be honest, I actually was considering turning the traffic off. Uh, I don't know if I should. I kept it on just because it would seem a bit lonely without other vehicles. But it, I suppose it does kind of ruin it. Because here we are in the 1970s or 80s, whatever. And they're clearly from like 2020 or 22 or something. I'd love to buy it, but we're going to have to rent it today. We can't afford it, sadly. Uh, so it's going to come under their mower category. There it is. And I think just keep everything as standard. Only £61 to rent. That is a good deal. I guess it's cheap because there's not really too much to fail. Uh, not many wearing parts on this thing. And we're obviously providing the, the fuel. So £61 seems like a very good price. Yeah, I hope this works. It'd be a bit of a shame if it doesn't. Hello again, chickens. Right. Let's unfold that. Switch it on. Lower it. First bit of brush is this one here. Oh, fantastic. And it looks like we're going to have some grass left behind too. Oh yes, this is very good. So, well, really, I suppose we should have like a before and after. That's what it looks like now. We'll see what it looks like in a minute or two. Oh, it's a shame to get rid of the flowers, but we're going to have to. And I'm going to ensure that this grass does not regrow. It's going to look so much different once I've finished. I don't know what to do with the grass, actually, which we're cutting. Because we could collect it up and sell it. But then it'll probably cost way more to actually collect it up uh, than it would the money which we make from it. Um, it's a shame we don't have a tractor with a front loader bucket because then we could just scoop it up with a bucket. Anyway, yes. Clearly I have a jungle to get through here, so I will see you when it's done. Well, there we go. What a transformation. That looks so much better. But now we have a load of grass, which is just lying around. And I'm not too sure. I don't think it will rot. Pretty sure it won't rot. So it does need to be cleaned up, really. Um, yeah, it's a shame that we don't have a tractor with a front loader. We certainly can't afford one. And I don't think there is a front loader compatible with this machine. But that has been fantastic. Really good. Looks so much neater. And because it is only 10am and we have this machine for the day uh, and we're only charged hourly if we're actually using it, we're going to keep it here for now. It's good. Really a nice machine. 
But yeah, I'll just show you from up here. It's starting to look like a yard again. Very happy with that. Oh, we can even see the chickens now. They were just hidden before in all the undergrowth. And as you can see, they're busy. Busy preparing for the next load of eggs. We have 50. 50 eggs here. And we don't have 50 chickens, so somebody's been multi-laying. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, as I said, it is a bonus video. But I will be back on Friday with the next episode. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.